Good Monday afternoon, everyone. It's a hazy Monday across West Central Ohio as we continue to see some of that wildfire smoke in the air. But as we look at the radar and satellite picture, we're not tracking any rain or thunderstorm activity, just a few thin clouds moving through. We are waiting for some showers to pop up, which you are expecting at least some isolated showers mid to late afternoon and a few scattered storms as we go into the evening hours. Not widespread, but it is a possibility. So if you do have maybe a tea time set up for later today or just some outdoor activities you're looking to get done, uh, just keep an eye on the radar. There will be the chance for some pop-up showers. Temperatures right now actually fairly comfortable. It's a comfortable day for July. Temperatures are running in the mid to upper 70s across our area with 75 degrees in Lima. We look off to the west where it's already early in the morning in Phoenix. It's already 100 degrees there. Their low temperature only dropped to about 96 last night. Looking at high temperatures for today, again, it's actually really nice in our part of the country. We are so lucky because a lot of that really extreme heat that we're really looking at across the south and west, it's staying put there. So our area looking at temperatures actually slightly below normal for this time of the year. Again, all of the heat south and west of here. Look at the temperatures 98 for Oklahoma City today. It'll be just under 120 for Phoenix this afternoon, 106 there in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So how about rain? I talked about the chance for some pop-up showers later this afternoon. Here's our five-day precipitation chances. Again, there'll be that chance for a few scattered showers later today, but again, I would not cancel those outdoor plans because these will be very hit and miss. Tomorrow we're dry. Rain chances not great at all this week. There'll be a slight chance again Wednesday, a slightly better chance on Thursday when another cold front begins to move through the area. So again, this afternoon we'll see temperatures rise into the lower 80s. A few pop-up showers and storms as we get towards about 3 p.m. and that chance will linger through around or just after sunset. So we also have a very low end severe weather threat too. Any a stronger storm could contain some wind and hail. The main threat of that would be south of Lima. You notice our sky cast actually showing not a lot of rain coverage this afternoon. In fact, this has been backing off each run has been trending towards less of these showers and storms. So that's why I want to emphasize this is not really a rainy afternoon. It's a chance of rain. If it does rain, it's going to be brief in nature. But again, there will be those pop-up showers and storms out there. As we lose the sun, getting towards sunset, we start to lose that fuel to get these showers. And, and the cold front will start to move through as well. So that trigger is going to be gone. And as the cold front moves through, it is going to bring the cooler air that we would expect behind a front, but it's also going to bring a drop in humidity. So tomorrow, things are going to feel a little better for us with a lower humidity in place. And we're going to start to stir up the air and get this haze and smoke start to move out of the area as well. So air quality, not as big of an issue for tomorrow. Tonight's low will get down to 60. Check out your seven day forecast tomorrow. It's going to be a nicer day with lower humidity levels. Our high comes in at 80. 81. 83 Wednesday, we'll see just a slight chance for a pop-up storm. Thursday, we will look at a few scattered storms in the afternoon. A cold front's going to sweep through. We will get up to 86 on Thursday, but look at Friday and Saturday, only at 80 for the high with low humidity and dry conditions. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around that 96 degree low Isn't out that west. That, <laughs> I think it's been two, over two weeks since Phoenix has dropped below 91 at night. Uh, better them than us, that's for sure. <laughs> exactly. Come